Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. We are in week 20 of the Marguerite Miller uh, Collage Weekly Planner and uh, this is, I feel rushed with this week's collage so I'm going to try to do my best. Um, I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna set the world on fire but I do have all the prompts so I just thought we would play with some old vintage um, images. So this week is something called Three of Something, A Place, An Office Supply, The Name of a Song, and Lined Paper. So let's get started, and I'd love to have you stick around and see what this week is going to bring. Um, I looked through my 1940 magazines, and I found a house, which is a typical home back then, beautiful house. This is a large one. Um, these are probably bedrooms up here. And then we have the side windows over here. Um, nice big screened in porch in the back. So it says, once upon a time, the British and the Connecticut Tories harassed the ragged, the ragged, raged, colonial army repeatedly from their hiding place, Torrey Hole, in the Delafield Woods. This home, located on Torrey Hole Road, is scarcely a hundred yards from the historic spot a few miles from Darien, Connecticut. So I'm not quite sure what this article was about, but you can see here, so there's two kids, and here's the nice big screened-in porch. Here's the porch here. There's nothing like a nice screened-in porch. And it has a nice library inside. And I'm, these look like some type of war uh, items that are up on the... this. Remember these fancy cornices? I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, we had something like this over our kitchen sink. It was all scalloped with wood, painted. So I'm going to be using this here as my place. This is a home. So um, I should have known this was Connecticut because they have all these beautiful stone walls um, in Connecticut when you're driving around. Then I have my something cold is this refrigerator. And this is for Westinghouse in advertisement. So I have something cold, like I said, is the refrigerator, and then three of something are three females. And then this this little one with her new little puppy, her new little doggy. But remember these? Look at that little tiny freezer. Just enough for a couple ice cube trays. Yeah, every house needs a Westinghouse. Yeah, I just love that picture. And then my um, my lined paper is this here. It is, I think it's um, meals. I don't know if they're meals for the week. Jellied ham loaf ugh, with egg garnish. That was your meat, your vegetables. You could have a potato salad, an aspect ring. Yeah, never liked that. Sliced tomato bowl, assorted sandwiches, cheese stuffed peaches. That does not sound good at all. Hot pineapple kebabs, ice drink, or unless you went down this way. No, because then lamb. So here's one, summer lamb chops, new peas and cream, parsley, potatoes, all green salad, blueberry muffin, pineapple, strawberry, ambrosia, and then fruit nectar. Recipes are for so good meals. They're on page 92. So these must not have been so good. You got to flip over to page 92 for the good meals. So, okay. So that's what I have. And then I have um, my office supply is this old time card. So we are going to do our best with these. I don't know how it's going to work out. Bear with me. Uh, I'm going to start cutting 
and I think this week is just gonna, we're going to be doing just a little overlapping and trying to fit things in. So nothing fancy schmancy. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, so for all of the moms out there, happy Mother's Day to you. Um, I think every day should be Mother's Day. Of course, my kids, they think every day should be Children's Day. Even at 25, they're like, Mom, how come we never celebrated Children's Day? I said, because every day was Children's Day, as far as I was concerned. And it's not something that Americans celebrate. I think it's more of a European um, type celebration because my my daughter-in-law who is from Romania they celebrate children's day so i think it is just something that Europeans do more of okay so i'm going to put this around here so we're going to take it off here. I always joked with my boys too when it was their birthday. I'm like, I'm the one that gave birth. I should, you should be celebrating me. Because I was the one that, I did all the hard work. You just showed up. Kind of like their birthday parties. I did all the hard work and they just showed up with their friends. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I want this to be Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to take some of this house off. And boy, I woke up this morning and I was laying in bed and looking out the um, my windows. And I said to my husband, I said, boy, it is, it is going to be a very windy day. The wind has already started. This was at 6.15 this morning. And my son had asked us if we wanted to go to a car show with him. And, of course, we said yes. And we went to the car show today. And, oh, I just... Um, his allergies kicked in. And I felt so bad. Um, because, really, they are just... They're doing a number on him. He's in his room. We just got back a little while ago, and... He's in his room sneezing and blowing and, oh, God, his eyes are all swollen. And I just feel terrible. All right, so let's see. I'm going to just start here. And I think I'm going to stick with the circle. I hope I'm not in your face with this. And I think I'm going to keep the Westinghouse sign here for now. I just, I didn't want to cut through these appliances because I can use those down the road. So I hope everybody um, is well. I mean, again, it's it's allergy season, and I'll tell you, if you have bad allergies, my heart really does go out to you um, because I used to have them. I could wake up in the morning, and I would be fine, and then 20 minutes later, they would hit me so hard I'd be on the couch and 
I couldn't function. And my girlfriend, she she had to be taken to the emergency room um, one night this past week because her allergies were so bad, uh, they kicked in and they uh, they had to do a lot of work on her. She had a she had serious issues with her her nasal. All right, so let's see. All right, so we got this like this. I think we're going to put this like that. Okay, I have the time card here. Um, and I think maybe I won't use the entire time card. I think maybe I'll just use a section of it. Because I'm going to put my song... I'm going to put my song lyrics on here. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I could. I could just cut it if I wanted to and put it down towards the bottom here. But I don't know. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could just put my song lyrics there. I could put that up there like that, but then I'd want to put something on it. So what could I put on it? Oh, golly gosh. Golly gosh. Let's see. Maybe we could put something... I could take this true zone, true zone cold for super steadier food protection, a definite temperature in each zone for each true temp control setting and how it works. Fiberglass insulation, humidity, laboratory studies of bacteria growth. I think that's funny. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take this true zone because seeing that I have to put something on here that is cold, we might as well explain why the Westinghouse is such a great um, refrigerator, right? All because of that true zone cold features. And I can put that, I can put that right there like that, okay? All right, and then my, let's get this glued down first. So, pretty much know how it's going to go. So, I have no plans for tomorrow. I have no idea what my, if the kids planned anything for me. Every year... Um, for many years, I'll tell you what we did. I mean, when my mom was alive, we would always get together. My mom and dad would either come up here and we'd have a big barbecue or I'd go to my mom and dad's and we'd have a big barbecue. Um, but since when my mom passed in 18, we started, you know, a new tradition, which is fine. Um, and I've never been one, I don't like to have the spotlight on me. I've never liked to have a fuss made. I love to make a fuss over my girlfriends and my family, but I, I don't want the spotlight on me. I've never liked that. Um, so for many, you know, after my mom passed, there was always a good movie. Um, that I wanted to see. We're real movie buffs. We used to be. Not so much anymore. Um, it's just gotten too expensive, and I don't I don't like the movies. 
And unfortunately, a lot of the actors, they've opened their mouth one too many times, and I don't agree with their philosophies or whatever. So um, it's kind of ruined things for me. So I'll go, I like to go to the movies to see the big, the really big box office hits, like, you know, Top Gun, um, James Bond. But even those movies are far and few between. I can't even tell you the last movie that we, oh, I know we went to see, we went to see John Wick. Because the boys wanted to see that, and supposedly it's the final John Wick movie. Um, so we went to see John Wick. Um, so we used to go, like I was saying before. I, I can't, I can't talk and chew gum at the same time when I work on this stuff. Um, we went to see. We went to see John Wick, um, but there's nothing playing. So I always liked, I said, if you want to do something for me, because I, I also, I don't like them spending money on me because, you know, it's like, what do I, I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Um, I just want them to save their money. So... There's nothing playing at the movies, so I told them, I just I just want to hang out. I go, I just want to spend time with you. We can play a board game. We can hang out by the pool. You know, the pool is open. So that's a good thing. Um, that's done and opened, and that is all ready to go. So, but I have a feeling we won't be outside much tomorrow because of my son's allergies. So I don't know what we're, what they have planned, if anything. And we don't we don't need to do anything at all. I'm happy just with with their company. I know my daughter in law is going to make dinner for me. I made a I love strawberry shortcake. So I made a strawberry shortcake, and I have. Um, I have uh, buttermilk biscuits, so we're all set there. So obviously I'm making this, I am making this video on Saturday, because <laughs> I'm say, talking about tomorrow, but you will see this on Sunday. So again, happy Mother's Day. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Okie dokie, there's that. Okay, so now for the name of the song. I was thinking about um, putting here Sentimental Journey because it does bring back a lot of um, memories, but I thought of a cuter, a little bit cuter song from, I was looking for something also from the 1940s, but I believe this one is from the 1950s. I think that's, and I believe it was Patty Page that sang this. Um, I believe, I believe, I believe she did. And that little doggy caught my eye right here. And I thought it would just be really cute. So my song is how much is that doggy in the window? 
I thought that would be very cute and very appropriate for um, for this little collage. That's the cutest little song. So, like I said, I was able to complete it with all of the, the prompts, so that makes me happy. I think it's cute. I think this is a cute one. So, we have our Something Cold, which is our refrigerator by Westinghouse, the True Zone Cold Refrigerator. Three of something. We have three women, three females, three girls. A place is our home. An office supply is the, um, oh my goodness, I just had a, is the card, the time card, all right? Not that they're used anymore, but they were used for many, many years. The name of a song is How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And our lined paper is behind here, the wonderful aspect apple potato salad ring whatever it is all these recipes that i would never ever even want to make so that's it this week my friends if you like this video i'd love to have you give me a thumbs up thank you for joining in and again happy mother's day everybody and i'll see you later in the week Bye bye